Now, drought conditions worsening across Alabama, especially in our communities. Here's a look at the latest U.S. drought monitor released just this morning. You can see one spot of extreme drought right in the heart of Shelby County. Several of the surrounding counties are dealing with everything from normal conditions to severe drought. And the dry conditions already taking a toll on farmers in our area. WVTM 13's Chip Scarborough tells us about the extra measures one farmer is taking to keep things going. Well, hot and dry. That's about all Jim Miller can say about the past few weeks. Take one glance at his Walker County cattle farm and you'll see what he's talking about. He hasn't seen any rain here in at least a month. Seems like instead of a seven year drought cycle here, lately we've been on a three year drought cycle. So grass is the main food source for cattle this time of year. Miller says the grass would normally be up to right about here, but you see where it is now. Most people that aren't already feeding hay that they would normally feed in the fall and winter months, uh, are uh, probably expecting to feed hay within eight, 10 days. It's so bad on Miller's farm that he started feeding his cows hay on Wednesday. He says he thankfully has enough to last until April, but says there will still be some extra costs involved for him. The hay quality is down this year because it's been so hot and dry, so the hay won't have as much protein in it. So we'll have to buy feed. Normally we supplement with a little feed. This year we'll buy a lot more feed. Miller says he expects to feel the impact of this drought until at least this time next year. In Walker County, Chip Scarborough, WBTM 13.